Uh, welcome to the series of lectures on the three-dimensional optical illusion for those who stay home. Today's topic is a height reversing staircase. Here is the object and the mirror is placed vertically behind the object. The direct appearance of the object and its mirror image have uh, staircases orienting differently in opposite way. There are some cones placed around. These cones uh, reflected in the mirror in a normal way. So we understand the that the mirror behind is the ordinary plain mirror. Let's look at the red cone, which is at the top of the object, but in the mirror, it is at the bottom of the mirror. So this illusion is, uh, in a sense, height reversing. Not only the direction of the uh, staircase changes, but also the lowest point and the highest point are exchanged in the mirror. So the yellow cone is at the bottom direct view, but in the mirror it's top. If we place a green cone in the middle of the steps, in the, in the mirror it is placed in a different step. The other cone also are placed in different steps in the direct view and in the mirror. This is an example of the height reversing staircase. Let's consider why this illusion happens. The object here is not a real 3D object. It's just a picture drawn on a plane. So it's a flat picture, not a 3D object. We place this picture on the desk surface and we are looking at it. If we forget about the 3D interpretation, just see it as a 2D pictures, then we understand that the direct view and its mirror image are mutually mirror symmetric to each other. But it's difficult to understand that because our brains feel that it is a three-dimensional structure instead of the plain picture. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that we are looking at an image taken by a camera. Because the camera has a single eye, and when we see this picture, we are looking at the object by a single eye. And that is uh, one of the reasons why it is difficult to understand that it is a picture. Well, the same picture when we see directly, here we understand this is a picture, not the object, because the picture is placed uh, in front of the white background. And we have also, we can see the boundary of the white paper, and so we understand this is a picture. But the object I shown, uh, the object itself is cut uh, <clears throat> along the boundary, and so there's no background around it. And we see it from uh, <clears throat> slanted angles, and also our brains try to interpret the object uh, as an object mm, constructed by light angles. The faces are connected by light angles. 
Here we see the closed world of picture, but here we feel that we are looking at something which is extended in the world where we are standing. And so it's difficult to understand that this is just a picture. And also the uh, direction of the gravity has an uh, important role in interpreting an object. Here one of the lines are perpendicular in our retinal image, which also gives the impression that uh, the 3D object is placed in a stable manner on the desk surface. Here the direction of the staircase is opposite in the mirror. This is because the object is actually a plain picture, but we perceive it, we interpret it as a three-dimensional structure. The same trick can be used to construct many um, <coughs> examples of circular no, height reversing staircases. Here is a direct view, the staircase uh, extended in both sides from the lowest bottom, but in the mirror it extended from the highest top. And if we place a cone on top, then in the mirror it is placed on the bottom. So this is a height reversing illusion. The picture itself looks like three-dimensional, but if we place real 3D objects such as this cone, then the illusion becomes larger and stronger. Another example, this is a picture of two staircases connected each other, but we feel this is 3D structures and the direct view, the Staircase is <coughs> light side is highest and the left side is lowest, but in the mirror the lowest side is highest and the right side is high lowest. And the cones placed on this object looks like change their heights. One more example. Here are <coughs> This is a stage. The bottom is a stage with a circular uh, audience uh, chairs, but in the mirror image, it's like a hill. And the red cone moves to from the bottom to the top. This is also a plain picture with a real cone, three-dimensional cone placed. On it. In this way, we can construct a picture whose height looks like reversed in the mirror. The similar illusion can be constructed by pictures, so you might enjoy them by your original height reversing object. Here we, uh, until now, we place just the cones as a real 3D object. But if we use more complicated 3D structures together with a plain picture, we have a stronger illusion. Here is an object. The object is reflected in the mirror in the direct appearance, the center flat is lowest, but in the mirror it is highest, and the direction of the staircase looks like opposite in the mirror. It seems more difficult to understand the true shape, but the uh, staircase is a planar picture. But the supporting columns are 
real 3D object. We can understand this like that. And if we rotate it by 180 degrees, the appearance exchange their place between direct view and the mirror image. And if we see it from the side, we understand more clearly that the staircase is a picture in a horizontal plane. The supporting columns are real 3D object, but the staircase is a 2D picture. The combination of these two different shapes of object uh, make our <coughs> perception more complicated. Here we have a circular structure of four staircases. And in the direct view, the ox no, is on the bottom, but in the mirror, a hen is on top of it. It seems that the structure of the staircases are reflected naturally, but the hen and rooster change their places. Actually, the hen is drawn on the back side of the rooster. And the bottom place in the direct view corresponds to the top flat in the mirror. So the rooster and the hen are placed in the same place, but we feel that they are standing in different uh, flat. This object also consists of 3D structures and 2D pictures. Actually, the supporting columns, four columns, are real 3D object, but the staircase is uh, just the picture drawn on a flat plane. We see this from a special viewpoint. All the four supporting columns are parallel, looks like parallel. And so we feel that the staircases are supported by four vertical columns. If the rooster go up the staircase, in the mirror, the hen is going down. This is another example. We have two staircases, and two staircases crosses in different levels. And it seems that the upper staircase uh, is the lower staircase in the mirror, and the lower staircase is reflected as the upper staircase in the mirror. But it's not the case. Actually, the upper staircase is uh, still upper in the mirror, and the lower staircase is lower in the mirror. But uh, <clears throat> in this illusion, the height of the staircase is reversed, orientation of the staircase is reversed, and so we have an impression that the upper staircase becomes lower staircase in the mirror. And in this case also, the hen and rooster change their positions, but the rooster is printed in the back side of the hen, and the hen is printed in the back side of the rooster. And so the hen in the direct view correspond to the rooster in the mirror image, and the rooster in the direct view correspond to the hen in the mirror image. In this case also, we understand that the staircase is just 2D pictures, the supporting columns only 3D structures. Another example. This is a simpler one staircase, and in the direct view, the staircase goes up from right to left, but in the mirror, it goes up from left to right. And we have 
real 3D structures, not only the supporting columns, but also the guide rails. Guide rail and the supporting columns are 3D structures. And, but the staircase is also, <laughs> likewise, the plain picture. From this angle, we feel that the height of the staircase is reversed. This is the illusion of height reversing staircase. Now, I want to give a quiz. This is the first object I showed, but in this case, not only the direction of the staircase becomes opposite, but also the color of the car changed from red to green. Why? What kind of tricks is used in this case? Please consider. Thank you very much.